approach the turn in. Penny Jane up on the outside is taken over now from Golden Flower Power second and Tylene third. Corella Creek back and forth as they turn for home with one to jump in this Mare's Beginner's Chase and Penny Jane is stretched clear of Golden Flower Power second and Antileene third as they jump the last. Penny Jane over safely clear, Golden Flower Power second, Antileene took a crashing fall at the final fence, being pulled up at the back, Sylvie, but Penny Jane will open her account over fences in good style, wins for Davy Russell, continue, continues Gordon Elliott's fine run, Golden Flower Power second, a long break back to Urban Star, staying on in third, and Corella Creek, last of the four finishers, walking away from his last fence fall, Eamon Corbett. La Bella Vida, still the leader, pushed along. Logical Song trying to close. He's gone on from Bendanella. Further break to Adamello as they head up the straight with one to jump. La Bella Vida with Logical Song trying to challenge on the outside. They're clear. Not much to choose between them over the last, and Logical Song led, jumped it better than La Bella Vida. Bendanella is back in third, but Logical Song stretching clear on the run in is going to win the print fix beginner's chase in good style for Max Mullins. And Danny Mullins, La Bella Vida second, Ben Danella holds on for third, Spider Webb and Adamello last of the five. La Bella Vida still the leader, pushed along, Logical Song trying to close. He's gone on from Ben Danella, further break to Adamello as they head up the straight with one to jump. La Bella Vida with Logical Song trying to challenge on the outside. They're clear, not much to choose between them over the last and Logical Song led, jumped it better. Then La Bella Vida, Ben Danella is back in third, but Logical Song stretching clear on the run in is going to win the print fix beginner's chase in good style for Mags Mullins and Danny Mullins, La Bella Vida second, Ben Danella holds on for third, Spider Webb and Adamello last of the five. Pumba still the leader. As they turn to head up the straight to the final fence, as Pumba has stretched on from eight to late, crazy work to Vassy and then presenting Manor to the final fence. Pumba the leader, over and clear, crazy work to Vassy into second, eight to late is third, but over on the far side, Pumba has been up front all the way and will win the Madden's Bar Restaurant Handicap Chase for Andy Sattery and Roger Quinlan. Crazy work to Vassy second, eight to late third, voices of spring clear of presenting Manor and Canuck Nishiga. Pumba still the leader as they turn to head up the straight to the final fence as Pumba has stretched on from eight to late crazy work to Vassy and then presenting Manor to the final fence. Pumba the leader over and clear crazy work to Vassy into second eight to late is third but over on the far side Pumba has been up front all the way and will win the Madden's Bar Restaurant Handicap Chase for Andy Sattery and Roger Quinlan. Crazy work to Vassy second eight to late third. Voices of spring clear of presenting Maller and Canuck Nishiga. As they turn to head up the straight for the final fence. Kurjoyo, the leader from Robin de Mana, struggling now in second. Pressed for that spot by class honours as they head to the final fence. Kurjoyo out in front and clear by about eight lengths. Class honours has moved through into second. Robin de Mana, third. And on the run in, Kurjoyo will continue the good run of Philip and Luke Dempsey, winning in good style. Kurjoyo wins the Franco Byrne Memorial, beginner's chase, good battle for second, with class honours on the inside, just second ahead of Robin de Mana, and a long break to the other pair, Jan Baru and Korski Express. Bilko now driven along in second, about four lengths down as they turn for home with one to jump. Some drama out in front. Bilko can make little impression at this stage. Clear of turn of the sun back in third as they head to the final fence. Some drama out in front of Bilko. Some drama makes a bad mistake, but survives it. Bilko trying to rally on the outside, but some drama on the far side. Still with the advantage, Bilko trying to stay on. But held as they go to the line, some drama driven out by Danny Hand will win for Dermot McLaughlin. Bilko second and a long break back to turn of the sun third, golden plan left of the four. Bilko now driven along in second, but four lengths down as they turn for home with one to jump. Some drama out in front, Bilko can make little impression at this stage, clear of 
turn of the sun back in third as they head to the final fence. Some drama out in front of Bilko. Some drama makes a bad mistake, but survives it. Bilko trying to rally on the outside, but some drama on the far side. Still with the advantage, Bilko trying to stay on, but held as they go to the line. Some drama driven out by Danny Hand will win for Dermot McLaughlin. Bilko second and a long break back to turn of the sun third, golden plan left of the four. As they head for the turn, Mick Milano, poor man's hill, pushed along trying to close. They're a long way clear of Dr. Maloney and Who's Cross as they turn and head up the straight to the final fence. Mick Milano out in front towards the stand side from Poor Men's Hill, staying on over on the inner. They're a long way clear. Coming to jump the last, Mick Milano makes a bad mistake. Danny Mullins did very well to stay on board, but that hands the race to Poor Men's Hill. The odds on favourite going on with less than 100 yards to race. Poor Men's Hill drawing clear. Another winner for Inform Jack Kennedy completes a double for Gordon Elliott. Mick Milano second and a long break back to Who's Cross and Dr. Maloney, Island Master and Donny McInerney parted company at the last. The drunken doctor will be last of five finishers. As they head for the turn, Mick Milano, poor man's hill pushed along trying to close. They're a long way clear of Dr. Maloney and Who's Cross as they turn and head up the straight to the final fence. Mick Milano out in front towards the stand side from poor man's hill, staying on over on the inner. They're a long way clear. Coming to jump the last, Mick Milano makes a bad mistake. Danny Mullins did very well to stay on board, but that hands the race to Poor Men's Hill. The odds on favourite going on with less than 100 yards to race. Poor Men's Hill drawing clear. Another winner for Inform Jack Kennedy. Completes a double for Gordon Elliott. Mick Milano second and a long break back to Who's Cross and Dr Maloney. Island Master and Donny McInerney parted company at the last. The drunken doctor will be last of five finishers. This long run in, Dorcas the leader from Roots Choice trying to rally over towards the inside as they head on to the furlong pole. Roots Choice has come through on the far side to tackle Dorcas there out in front of Dulock Lad in third. Inside the final furlong, Roots Choice the leader from Dorcas. Dulock Lad back in third, but Roots Choice and Barry Brown stretching on will complete a double on the day for trainer Philip Dempsey. Beats Dorcas, Dulock Lad third, Flatfoot Poogie, and Gibstown. On this long run in, Dorcas the leader from Roots Choice trying to rally over towards the inside as they head on to the furlong pole. Roots Choice has come through on the far side to tackle Dorcas there out in front of Dulock Lad in third. Inside the final furlong, Roots Choice the leader from Dorcas. Dulock Lad back in third. But Roots Choice and Barry Brown stretching on will complete a double on the day for trainer Philip Dempsey. Beats Dorcas, Dulock Lad third, Flatfoot Poogie, and Gibstown.